This morning, a four-legged first puppies born through in vitro fertilization. A Cornell University project impregnated a female dog with 19 embryos. She gave birth to seven healthy pups. Jim Axelrod shows us how this litter could go a long way to help science. Five months old. Oh, you guys are so cute. These two colorfully named beagle puppies, red and green, owe their lives to their master, Alex Travis. I love them very much. They just need a little more housebreaking, though. Not owe their lives as in feeding and caring for them or that he rescued them from the pound. No, red and green are among the very first test tube puppies, a process this professor at Cornell University's vet school helped pioneer. We hope to be able to use this as a launching point for curing genetic disease or we're trying to remove it from uh, the populations of different breeds. In vitro fertilization, in which an egg is fertilized by a sperm in a lab and then implanted in a surrogate, has been an option for humans since the late 1970s. But dog reproduction is different from just about every other mammal. Scientists just figured it out. But the birth of these seven IVF puppies signals a new era for dog breeding. Not just that champion lines will have a better chance to reproduce even when a mother dog has trouble carrying offspring to term, but scientists can now address genetic issues that cause trouble for entire breeds, eye defects in collies, or urinary stones in Dalmatians. There's over 350 genetic disorders that are very similar between the dog and human. And we can use that to try to fix those defects and prevent the disease before it even starts. Which would be one high-tech way in which man would be dog's best friend. For CBS This Morning, this is Jim Axelrod in New York. It's the new world. It is the new world. It's very exciting, red yeah. and green. I like it.